So hello everybody, uh, this is Rath. So today I will show actually little, uh, a little, very small demo, uh, a very brief demo about Aploi. And this demo will be very updated because uh, we have updated a lot of features recently. So it will be included here. So let's start. So first to see the demo actually, we have uh, a dashboard. So you all, you guys all know that um, on the dashboard, it is actually a very short summarized uh, command center from where you actually uh, will be getting all sort of thing in very summarized way, like top five members based on activity, top five members based on uh, time lock. This is actually an uh, admin and owner view. Uh, that's why it is organization. And uh, if admin and owner want to see his or her personal uh, uh, time uh, time and all, all sort of uh, dashboard command center he can also choose me so for own organization owner it will be only have two option but for single employee uh, they will be only having one option here so organization owner would be able to see this view only so uh, with all, all all thing included so later we have the remote track option as uh, uh, you, you all guys know that we have three plan currently that is apply time track remote track and apply field track so uh, if i just shortly go to the uh, feature details here uh, so in the remote track you have all the thing with the screenshot uh, tracking apps and urls and activity levels and on the field track you will be uh, not having screenshot track app and activity levels but having gps and all all sort of thing of time track and on the on the time track you will be having all sort of thing like this time track and uh, for uh, project management and task management features with payroll and other things so uh, now i will show you just the remote track options which as as it actually actually includes these two plans also so uh, that's why uh, as my organization is under the remote track plan that's why it is showing the remote track option here so now I'll show, click on the remote track and I will be having three options, screenshot, screenshot, applications and URLs. So uh, if I just click on a screenshot, so your screenshot would be like this way. So uh, you'd be able to see your employee's screenshot in daily basis if he or she actually tracks and logs time from his uh, uh, Dexter application, uh, this actually includes all here. So just to show you the Dexter application you all. So uh, for this plan, the Dexter application is named as Apply Remote Track. So uh, that way, this actually works. So uh, once you are onboarding your employee, they will just simply uh, get the invitation from their, uh, from their mail and uh, they will be accepting that and they will be simply uh, getting on the organization. So you will be assigning the project so once you're assigning it, uh, they will just click on it and they will just click on start button. So once they're starting it, uh, all the data of employee will be stored in the owner admin panel. So in the screenshot feature, that is a, a pretty basic thing. Uh, you will be having all sort of screenshot and having total day, uh, two, two days total with the activity ratios and productive time and the non-productive time of this two days total. So that's how actually the screenshot works you can also select project wise and you can also select uh, any date range uh, uh, existing on the data and then we have the application uh, view actually and on the application view you will be having a little bit of uh, idea about your employees application uh, uses during his office hour and also you can as always you can select uh, these panels anyone to see specified uh, application usage and also the archival one so uh, on the url panel we have actually working on it uh, it will be updated very soon so uh, yes but uh, urls is not only showing here it will be showing on the report section so no worries uh, next we have the timesheet so on the timesheet you will be having a little um, idea about uh, the total uh, timesheets of your employees like going to the monthly you know, we have several options here uh, uh, monthly, bi weekly, weekly, and daily. So, as all the time, you can select project and task wise view, and you can select any member specified view if you want to see it. So, in this option, you will be having a little idea about which date your employee has worked, how many hours, and time. You can select previous month, 
and on the b weekly uh, you would be seeing it like this way on the weekly this works like this way so uh, this is actually very uh, very advanced feature for the HR personals those who are actually using it uh, for uh, monitoring their employees because it has the screenshot also the timesheet so you are knowing all the things happening uh, uh, on the employee and due to this uh, COVID-19 everyone is working from home so uh, that's a great thing to having it from this one single common center so next we have the report section as uh, from now uh, the employee was taking all sort of data like a screenshot and time so in the report section uh, admin or HR and owner would be able to see uh, the reports uh, based on your organization employees like all together so on the times uh, time activity manual time URL usage application usage due amount paid amount and one time amount so you would be able to see this sort of thing here uh, if I just show you time and activity uh, it would be like this way so all the activities like this and just to let you know activity actually tracked by our uh, keyboard typing and mouse clicking ratio you'd be seeing the graph and the table view here and like this way you can select also any specified member you wanna uh, select like this uh, later we have the manual time as on the uh, timesheet panel I uh, so here at the button of uh, name on the timesheet panel named uh, manual time here uh, uh, if anyone forgets to uh, log their time on the employee app or forgets once they're coming back to start it so they can actually track uh, they can actually fill up the gap by uh, manually entry time in the entry the time which they have uh, missed so on the report section on the manual time you would uh, as an uh, as an owner you would be able to see uh, uh, who actually has added uh, with what reason because they has to reason it out to you and who has edited and uh, how many time they have been edited on the url usage uh, as usual you are seeing the urls of your employees as i already showed that uh, on the remote track uh, on the on the activity panel option you are not seeing it but on the reports panel or you are seeing it so app goes the same and due amount actually uh, as your employee is onboarding so uh, we have a payroll option here so you can actually uh, uh, you can actually put in individual employee wise paid it hourly paid it to see um, you know, how many amount I have to pay after a month or after a week so that's how actually uh, on the report section you will be having to seeing them uh, so on the on the payroll section you'll be having an option to uh, pay them uh, like pay them in that uh, in that sense actually you can uh, track that how many amount you have paid so you can mark and send so on this report section you will be having due amount and paid amount so those you have paid and those you haven't paid uh, paid yet so we have also one time payment which is for uh, usually works for freelancers and all so this actually report then we have the task system as you know the task actually uh, to uh, create a, a, a very very normalized thing like uh, we have the project one so on the project you will be having uh, you can create a project to track your employees time based on this there. so you can see that close deal is my project so if you create the project here so uh, put all the details you can um, assign people as much as you want uh, you have the you can also uh, add project project uh, budgeting and billing from this section also you can add uh, add task from this section to uh, work work very smoothly so actually tax actually works under the project section uh, later we have the schedule actually schedule is currently we are working on it it will be updated very soon and we have the GPS option if I just show you the GPS how, how actually that works um, I have to select a person. Yeah, so GPS actually works like that. If any, any if anybody wants to see that, he can also see it. This is actually for only our mobile applications app, uh, users, those who are using the mobile applications. So next we have the client option. In this client option, you can actually uh, add your client here to uh, let them know about what is actually going on under his project and all uh, you can add client from this section 
and later we have the teams option so teams actually works like a title so uh, in this in this title uh, these people are working in this title these people are working so uh, teams actually working a, as a title so you can uh, uh, tie few bunch of people under a team so uh, it works pretty good well once you are creating uh, several projects and tasks and you have to you don't have to uh, click each and every one's icon to add them you, you will be just simply adding uh, with their uh, department name like close deal backend and all sort of thing and the member section from this section you will be assigning people like you will be uh, not assigning you will be onboarding this uh, from this step so this is the first step where uh, once you are creating the organization you will be simply uh, put an email and then simply uh, select any project which you have already created before this step and then send in and add another if you want to add so you can simply uh, invite your member to get onboarded from this section and they will be having an email on then on their email and once they are accepting it and creating the account uh, by following the steps they will be getting onboarded and simply after that they will be downloading downloading the desktop application based on their organization uh, plan so you will be telling your employees which app actually they need to download uh, is that remote track time track or field track so in the member section you can once your employees are here you can do a lot of things uh, from this section you can go to the edit member you can see uh, all things from here you can uh, select any role like you if you want to make this person admin or member or not and this sort of thing so you can also assign project you can add payment as i already explained that you can uh, add payment based on employee uh, individual employee to track uh, their hourly rate and all so that's how actually the member work and payroll section actually works under that so once you're adding employee uh, member individual pay rate it will be here so uh, you can select and keep a track that how much you have already paid for this month and uh, for the next month how much you have to pay or so the previous month how much you had actually paid them and we have the one-time payment option from this section you can actually keep track that if you have any one-time uh, payment uh, going on under your organization you can actually keep track on this and you will be having all the reports here on the due payment paid and one-time payment this is a pretty easy thing and later we have the organization thing uh, in this organization you have to actually uh, add an organization to run any uh, any employee platform in the very beginning so first you have to create an organization so once you will be uh, getting on board once you will be starting this um, you have to create the organization first and uh, make it active so once you're making it active it will be um, active for all sort of uh, procedure I have shown you in the previous uh, listing so uh, organization is very important thing so on the setting section you have uh, my plan view which where you will be able to see which plan you are actually currently on you can change plan anytime you can answer for you anytime and uh, this is also another uh, option to change the plan so you can also shift to time track to field track and all sort of thing so just to uh, let you know the pricing about it so uh, we have monthly and annual option so in the monthly section uh, the price is uh, for a remote track eight dollar and if you select annual it will be six dollar two dollar less so um, this is very uh, easy thing to understand so this goes for all, all this uh, together you will be having a little idea about the feature here also to see this you can actually uh, go to our website and see the pricing from this page okay so that's our actually the pretty much thing uh, which you uh, need to know and we have also other thing like desktop application you can select uh, from this and uh, download desktop application and uh, we have the mobile application you can read blocks we have a lot of blocks there you can read blocks and uh, that's that's pretty much of it and hope this will be help, helpful uh, if any anything you find to uh, uh, check with us you can uh, simply send us a uh, support chat a message or you can um, email us at support at the rate of where we will be uh, replying you 24 7 hours 
so uh, that's pretty much of it uh, let us know if you need to know any more thing in further days and we'll be uh, ready to help you thank you have a nice day